I have a pair of Sony WF-1000 XM4s. I've had them for a while. Bought them cheaply online because they were refurbished and one of the earbuds, the battery drained very quickly and that was this right one. Um, and so I managed to order some new batteries online, replaced them, at least the right one because the left one was working fine until today. Now the earbud drains in under an hour or so, uh, which is just not that good. So the right one's fine, but it's the left one that we are going to replace. And to do that, it's a little bit tricky because there's no easy way to just open this up. There's a seam right down this edge here. Uh, but what we need to do is use a heat gun to soften up that glue and pop it apart. So let's get going on that. I have a heat gun here. The old uh, Harbor Freight job seems to work. And we want to get this thing pretty hot. Last time I did this, I was able to, by squeezing kind of in the oblong direction and, and gently squeezing it, I was able to get an opening going as opposed to just using something sharp. I didn't want to damage it. goes just enough to get a tool in here Budger tools are seen better days. Okay, just got it to pop. Okay, now we don't want to just rip this open because things are connected on the inside. You can see some thin ribbon cables. Okay. we need to do is this 
this little circuit board is glued to the battery. And the battery is then uh, stuck to the base with some sticky tape. And so um, the first thing we're going to do is uh, you'll see that there's actually two boards here. There's a main board on the bottom, which is what I'm touching right here. And then right above it, there's like this daughter board and that connects to the ribbon cable. And that can be popped off gently. Okay, and that's the connector. And now I have the two halves. All right. So now this left side we don't need. And we now need to get this daughter board off. However, there are two ribbon cables on it here and here. This one is kind of attached to the board, but this one can come can come off. So flipped up that little metal that little black tab and now that it's up that's the locking me mechanism I should be able to gently somewhat Hold this cable out without accidentally slicing it. Hmm? Cables out. Now we need to get this little board off. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little more heat. Just enough. And soften out hot. board and see some of the glue so now I kind of want the glue to stay on the board because I'm going to kind of like reuse it it's like a sticky tab sticky you know pad there Okay, now that the you can see the stickiness is still on this board. Now we need to get the battery out. Again, the battery is also sitting down here with some stickiness. And that stickiness, that pad is still down there, which is awesome. All right, the battery is out. Now, if we can take a look at the battery here, we can see that it is a, I need my magnifiers, hang on a second. That battery is a I don't know how well this comes out on camera here. Zeni Power Z E N I Z55H. 
and it is a lithium ion 3.85 volts at 0.29 watt hours okay dead battery goes over here and we have a replacement one Placement one, same brand, same specs, perfect. When we reassemble the negative terminal, the battery um, kind of faces up. So we're just going to pop this guy back in. Oh yeah, that's right. Be mindful, there's a, that right there at the bottom is a magnet. And that's the magnet that is used by the case to uh, make it snap shut and secure the buds into the case. So you just got to be mindful of getting that, getting that in. Uh, that doesn't. All right. So the battery is now pushed in. And one thing to note is that the battery will feel like it is crooked. However. The top of the battery needs to be parallel with this flat portion. It's just that the case is at a slight angle. So when you're pr pushing it in, it almost feels like the battery is off kilter. Now this gets pushed back on. Feel the sticks. And now again for this thin cable here we're going to insert back tricky but I think it's in okay Now we want to get this um, connector back on. Line it up and just should be able to just press it down. There it is. Okay, so now this earbud doesn't have, you know, any snaps or tabs. It just closes together. And there was a little bit of glue that used to, I guess, be around the edge. Um, So you can see this is not gonna not gonna close right. But before we get to that step of securing it, what I'd like to do is I've got my case. Charging. That's a good sign. And the other bud charging as well. So it seems like it's back together in one piece. And when working on this last time, I ended up buying this glue, B7000. Yep, Google for it, search for it. Uh, it seems to be a glue that is meant for electronics and plastic parts that's a bit different than like a, a CA glue. 
that would be really permanent. So in the event I have to open these guys back up, I should be able to again reapply some heat and pop, pop it open. So the last time I did this on the right one, I just used a few dots of the glue. Let's make sure it's coming out. Oh, stand by. I need to I need to get a find a paper clip. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a few dots of glue on the lip. Maybe a little too much there. Close it and keep it pressed closed. Nope, oh, made a bit of a mess. This is not good. Let's see if I can rub that off. pressure here. I definitely used too much glue. But it does come off just by gently rubbing. All right. You keep that pressure on there. I'll hold it for a bit. Now, since I didn't glue around every single edge, I guess the IPS, the waterproof rating, is probably dropped on these. But, hey, I don't um, get them soaking wet. So, it's good enough for me. should be good enough for you. charging I can fix it so can you